man who metaphysically reminded me to save myself after I almost died found me at the worst time in my life to save me. Well, we came back to town, uh, into town for our wedding, and he drove me to my wedding shower that we were both invited to, which was a week before our wedding. It also happened to be at my matron of honor's mother's house, which was walking distance from my parents' house. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that on the day of the car accident where I was almost killed, I was driving to my parents' house from Chicago. So, so here I am, once again, the, the first time in almost two years since that fateful day, driving down that road where the accident occurred. You know, I, I shouldn't call it an accident. My, my husband had a metal pin on it that says, crashes aren't accidents which I wear because it's true. To the men who did this to me, this was no accident. So we were driving down the road. As we approached that intersection, he noted that they put up a concrete barrier separating the oncoming traffic. It's nice to see that someone thought to do something about that intersection after my car crash and that people did something about that road after the fact. And so I decided, as we passed the intersection, to turn around to see what it must have looked like to all of the eyewitnesses. And when I looked at the scene, I just started to cry, thinking about how my life was torn apart because someone was speeding and not paying attention. Then I had to be in the way. And he looked at me as he drove, probably in a bit of a state of panic himself, not knowing what to do. And I looked over at him and then thought about why I was on this road at this time. At this point, I was three miles away from my wedding shower. So, wiping the tears from my eyes, I said, but if that accident never happened, I would never have met you, and I wouldn't be going to my wedding shower right now. And my face cleared up, and my eyes got big and wonder again, and I started to smile. <laughs> he was totally stunned at how I managed to completely change my mood. The pain is always there from what happened that day, but this was not a time to dwell. I had a wedding shower to attend as the blushing bride. Maybe I'm not a writer. Maybe I'm not an artist. Maybe I'm an observer. But it is as if the gods are paying me back for everything by giving me you. And with you, I've walked on the tops of glaciers. And with you, I've watched solar storms from near the Arctic Circle. We've even held hands at the Great Wall of China. As I said before, I'm only an observer, but with these observations, I leave wed because I will never let you go. I've seen galaxies collide, I've seen comets smash into planets, I've seen supernova and the death of stars, and in all of that, I still found you. As I said, I'm only an observer, but I've found what I've been looking for. So I'll tighten my grip on your hand because I don't ever want to let you go.